Hi guys, how are you? I'm Dawn, I'm the owner of Pixie Dust Glitter and Company, and today we're going to be doing the Paris Cup. I love this cup so much. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna start off with prepped primed cup. I used heirloom white, um, cryline, cryline. And then we got our acrylics. They're all metallics. I always use um, a metallic or a color shift, something fun like that. But we have rose gold. I think it's called rose gold. Yeah, rose gold. And it's a different shade of rose gold. I don't know, I don't think I squirted this out. I didn't. There we go. Two shades of rose gold. Then we have champagne gold. And then this is almost empty. Glorious gold. That's obnoxious. Um, that's this one. These two, I squirted out in case you liked them. It's royal gold and splendid gold. This one's okay. This, I don't know, they kind of look like baby poop. So, I don't want to use them. So, okay, so we're going to grab our cup and we're going to dry brush. Old, um, crappy brush. I even cut the bristles because I, th I think I left glue on it or something. Okay, so we're going to dry brush. Dip it in and then brush it off, just about all of it off. And then we're just gonna go back and forth. So how about everybody doing in quarantine? I've gained 10 pounds. Yeah, I'm not real happy about that. But you know, it's like, I've lost, I've lost my mind. All I do is eat. I had peanut butter cups for breakfast today. And I wonder why I've gained 10 pounds. But I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody's staying healthy. Now, I don't clean my brush between colors. I mean, I'll clean it if it gets muddy, but for the most part, I don't. See how it's like streaky? You can see all those brush marks, can you? I'm not sure if you can, I hope you can. I like that. That's the look I go I'm going for. Just keep going. So my daughter had to cancel, postpone her wedding. It was supposed to be April 27th. She's okay about it now. At first she was upset and stressed because it was all up in the air. The vendors kept on saying, you know, wait and see what happens, wait and see what happens. So she didn't know what was happening. That stressed her out. But once it was like finalized that yes it's going to be postponed 
she handled it a lot better. Good thing. Hopefully I'll be able to lose my quarantine weight. This dries really quick too, which is good because then we can move on to the next next part. I think I think that's good. I think, that, I, think I like the way it came out. Okay, well, most of it's going to be covered up anyway. So now. I'm gonna put this right over my paint because if not, I would slop, slop it all around. So, um, I lost my, oh, okay, here it is. <laughs> my Podge. Gonna need that. I'm gonna have to use my finger, but that's okay. I usually use my fingers anyway. And then, your images. I just got a whole bunch of them. Just things, pick pictures that I liked. I have a lot to choose from. I have a crap ton to choose from. Um, I printed them all out. This is regular printer paper. Nothing special. And I did not seal it or anything. I just printed it. And I burnt the edges of all my pictures. Now, do that outside, okay? Trust me, don't ask me why. Just burn your paper outside. So, you have all your, your images. And I really, I don't go into it too much with a plan. Because I always, I just make it up as I go along. But, okay, I got all my images. And I want to start with a bigger one. I'll start with this one. Some my touch and stick it on. Could probably use Elmer's glue, but I use the Mod Podge. Okay, I like the wrinkles. I don't get upset if. Um, the image, the color, like smears or runs a little bit, and I think it added, adds interest. I just leave it. If those little burnt parts, see like that, oh, I can't get it off my finger, but anyway, when they get on your, um, on your cup, like they break off, I like that. Oops, that's a lot. Say like that. That's a little piece of burnt paper. I leave it there. I like it. Okay. What now? And I should probably plan it out. I really should, but I don't. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I really wasn't in frame. My apologies.
piece of paper that flaked off. Like I said, I like to save those. Overlap your images. Keep the wrinkles. All that adds to it. Put some Mod Podge over top of him, top of the images. You don't have to be too particular of getting all the um your edges sealed because this is only the first layer and when the, sometimes the epoxy will seep under your images. I like that. I like the look that gives. Sometimes I have a hard time picking. It's like, do I want this on the first layer or do I want to save it for a different layer? But we're just going to go for it because nothing's planned out. I already have that image on. I think I already have this one on too. Yes. just trying to get that piece of burnt paper attached to something. I'm going to go this way. And please excuse all the paint over my hand, all over my hands. I always have it all over my hands. Then I'm just going to fold it over. I like the wrinkles. and push it flat. Okay. Just gonna see how that's red smeared? I'm okay with that. most of the air bubbles out if you got air bubbles.
got something here. I think that is good for the... Oh look, I used it all. I didn't dump too much. I think we are good for the first layer. This is just the first layer. Okay. So, we're going to let that dry. And... And we'll come back. Yeah, I'm going to let that dry. that corner down a little bit. I'm going to put a layer of epoxy on it. Let this dry. Um, I'll wait until tomorrow and then I will put a layer of epoxy on top and we'll come back for the next the next step. All right. Have a good one.